All right, a viewer asked me to uh, do a measurement setup using the tiny SA and a coupler. Uh, so how would you do that? So, and and uh, what are couplers? Um, now I did have, oops, I'm sorry, bumped the camera. Um, so I did have a video on couplers, but let me just be briefly describe them over, over here. Uh, so a coupler is going to be a, uh, uh, a connector. Okay, so there's gonna be a connector here and there's gonna be a connector over here. And there's gonna be a transmission line in between. Okay, so this is in and this is out. Okay, and in fact, uh, I'll show you the coupler actually labels them input and output so you know which is which. Uh, but what is a coupler? A coupler has a, uh, another transmission line in pr close proximity to this transmission line. And this transmission line, uh, you know, right hand rule as the, as the um, E&M wave travels through here, it creates a magnetic field. That magnetic, magnetic field couples into this transmission line. And so a current gets set up into that, into that transmission line. And there's another uh, connector over here. And that one couples a little bit, steals a little bit of this energy. And it's designed so it's pretty flat with frequency. So uh, in the particular coupler that I have, from input to output, there's hardly any loss at all, but you're only taking off a little bit of the power. And th this one measures as a, a 13 dB of coupling, okay? So if you put in um, 20 dB of signal, then it'll get attenuated on this connector by 13 dB. So 7 dB will be left over and 7 dB will, will snake out of this one here. Okay, so it's a 13 dB coupling, all right? So uh, that's what we're gonna do. So let's take a look at the setup. So we're gonna use this coupler here that I have. This is a Merrimack uh, coupler and it's good from 10 megahertz to 1000 megahertz. And you can see that it's labeled input, output, and forward coupled. Now forward coupled means that the power going, going in the forward direction gets coupled out, okay? And power coming in the reverse direction, if there's any uh, reflection, does not get coupled. So it's kind of a one-way valve and it's, it does sample a little bit. Like I said, it samples dB, 13 dB of signal here. All right, so we're gonna connect this to our radio. And uh, our radio is going to come in to the input. It's going to go through the coupler and then it's going to go into a dummy load. So I have a 150 watt dummy load here, right? And so transmission into the dummy load. Now, while it's transmitting, we're going we're gonna to steal a little bit of that power and we're going to send it this direction. Now, if we are transmitting with the radio, I know that the radio is transmitting with four and a half watts. Four and a half watts is plus 36.5 dBm, okay? So it's 4,500 milliwatts, okay? 4.5 thousand milliwatts. And uh, in dB, that is plus 36.5. All right, so we have plus 36.5 going into the dummy load, but remember, we're gonna steal a little bit, a little bit, and it's gonna be lowered in amplitude by 13 dB. So we're still gonna have uh, possibility of 26.5 uh, dB plus 26.5 uh, coming out the, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure, 23.5, got to do my math right, P plus 23.5 still coming out here. Now that would be enough to blow up your, blow up your spectrum analyzer, so we need to attenuate it even more, okay? So I have here a 30 dB attenuator, okay? So we have 13 from the coupler and then another 30. So we have a total of 43 dB of attenuation, okay? And so if you start with 36.5 and you subtract 13, you get to 23.5. And then you subtract 30, you get to minus 13.5. So we only have minus 13.5 coming out of this connector. Now that connector is gonna go into the, into the spectrum analyzer, okay? And let me see if I can get rid of the glare on the screen here in a second. 
All right, that's better. So I'm now going to transmit. And there we go. We have a peak and it's measuring at minus 13.5 dBm right on the nose. Uh, so uh, that's the way that you, uh, that's the way that you use a coupler, right? Uh, the big things to remember is the coupler has to be rated at the frequency you're using it at, all right? First, I tried a different coupler that I had, and uh, it's just made for higher frequencies, and it didn't work very well. Then I remembered I had this coupler, which is 10 to, 10 to 1,000 megahertz, so it's the perfect for this uh, uh, simplex frequency of uh, one. We're transmitting at 146.52. So 150 megahertz, this thing's going to be operating just great. So, so the first thing is make sure that the frequency response of the coupler is good. Um, then know what the coupling output's going to be. Couplers are going to be somewhere around 10 to 30 dB of coupling. Uh, 10 to 20, I think, are pretty usual numbers, either a 10 dB or 20 dB. This one happens to be minus 13. Um, and so remember that that was too much for our spectrum analyzer. We never want to put more than 0 dBm into that spectrum analyzer. Uh, so we would need at least, uh, you know, 15 dB of attenuation here. Now, I like to go farther than that. So uh, um, I had a, a 30, so I'm going to use a 30. Minus 13 dBm into the spectrum analyzer is still a quite healthy signal for a spectrum analyzer. So. Um, that's a that's a good choice, right? So that's how you use the coupler.